It's Monday morning. Time is almost 7.40 a.m. in the morning. The reporting time for teachers. Scene spotlight is near biometric in the stilt area. Teachers are coming in one after the other. As you've just seen, mishappenings and unfortunate incidents can take place in the fraction of a second. Accidents wait for no one. So there can be no dilution or compromise of the thumb rule that teachers must report to school and classrooms in time. Scene two, next day, during the short break, both the teachers and students are moving about in the corridor. This is the scene before it. It seems to be the CTP period. The class teacher has just walked in and will shortly begin with the daily attendance. Good afternoon, children. How are you? Good afternoon, ma'am. Fine, ma'am. Okay, great. Sit down. And how was your weekend? Excellent, ma'am. Spider-Man 2. Big family. Wow, very nice. Sapna, what happened? You are looking a little sad. Are you okay? Are you sure? Please sit down. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, let me take a roll call. How come you are late today? But Monica, every time you give me this excuse, just make sure this should not happen again. Come and sit down. Okay, let me start doing the roll call, please. As teachers, we must keep in mind that every action of ours, every single moment, <laughs> is under constant scrutiny and surveillance by the students. And we must be role models. Scene two, the next day, it's short break and both the teachers and students are moving about in the corridors.
हेलो मैम गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग अच्छे हो मैम आप बताइए गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग आपसे गुड मॉर्निंग ब्रिजेश डॉक्टर मैम गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग आपने एक बार विश कर दिया मुझे शॉर्ट ब्रेक इज ओवर As you are dressed, so shall you be be perceived, and as you are perceived, so shall you be treated. Teachers need to be most mindful and particular about how they dress, speak, walk, talk, and carry themselves in front of the students at all times. Believe me, they have laser eyes which scan us from head to toe and take in every detail. Over to scene three. This is in the staff room. exercise more caution and a tighter rein over their emotions they must be more controlled in their outbursts in the presence of students every thoughtlessly spoken word by a teacher can and sometimes does snowball into an issue or can be magnified out of proportion by the students themselves over to scene 4 Next day the coordinator calls for a meeting during the short break Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm sorry, the short break is at the short break. 
most of you have some work also to do. So I'll keep it very short. Please seat yourselves. Um, it has been told on previous occasions also, but this is just uh, another fresh uh, reminder that uh, teachers are requested not to discuss any student or student issue in amongst themselves and especially in the presence of students. You have any concerns or in case of any major problem, you know you have your heads and charges and coordinators to approach. So I hope you'll all keep it in mind in the future. Right? Thank you. You can all disperse now. Do whatever you wish to. Thank you. <coughs> and the next day in the same staff room, coincidentally with the same set of teachers, Good morning, Sarika ma'am. Good morning, Kanjana. How are you? Good. 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 All there. Everything is fine. Yes, ma'am. Everything is good. Your classes for you, and they're doing great. You are perfect. Last scene. Last scene. Yet another day in school. It's transition time as fourth period has just ended. Okay, students, kindly bring an Indian political map tomorrow. And don't forget it, okay? See you. Students' well-being is our topmost priority. To accomplish this, teachers must accept responsibilities and any extra duty assigned on an SOS basis willingly and in the right spirit. Rest assured, teachers, genuine concerns are always taken into account and consideration by our heads, coordinators, in charges, and principal. Ma'am. 